Abby's Journey by Roberta Meyer. Hi, my name's Abigail. Everyone calls me Abby for short. I have a sister. Her name is Sadie. We live in a little house in the country with some very special people. All of us have fun together. We play ball and take walks in the forest. Some days we even get to go to the beach where Sadie and I run and jump in the waves. Life wasn't always this good for us. When my sister and I were pups, we had no one to take care of us. We had to look for food on the street and in garbage cans. Sadie and I slept in a box and stayed close together to keep warm. One day, a car drove by our box. There was a lady in it. She saw us and stopped. The lady walked to our box, petted us gently, then picked us up. She carried us to her car where she placed us on a cozy blanket. All of a sudden, the car started to move. Sadie and I were kind of scared. We didn't know where we were going, but there was something about being with this lady that made us feel safe. We rode for a while, but then the car came to a stop. Oh no, I thought, what's gonna happen to us now? Will this lady leave us? Will we have to find a new box to live in? The lady got out of the car. Sadie and I jumped on the, on the seat to look out the window. Where are you going? I barked. We watched as the lady walked towards the building. Sadie and I were so happy when we saw the lady coming back to the car. There was someone else with her. Our lady called her Maria. Maria had food with her, dog food. She opened the car door and gave us the food. We were so hungry that we gobbled it up. After we finished the food, Maria and the lady took us into the building. It was called the Humane Society. There were all kinds of dogs and cats there. The animals greeted us with loud barks and meows as if to say, welcome. The loudest bark came from a dog named Chocolate. The smallest yelp came from a pup called Duffy and the sweetest meow came from Shiny the kitten. We looked around and saw that each of the animals had its own little space called a kennel. It was much nicer than the box where we had been living. Sadie and I looked at each other. Were we gonna get to stay in a kennel too? We looked at our lady. We learned that her name was Rosie. She knelt down next to us and we licked her hand. That was our way of saying, thank you for being so kind to us. Rosie, she then opened a kennel door. Rosie motioned for us to go into it. Yes, we were getting our own kennel. Rosie gave us water and we lied down. We were so tired that we both fell asleep quickly. Suddenly, I was awakened to a startling sound. Arf, 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 meow, meow, meow. I was afraid and didn't know where I was. Looking around, I saw Sadie lying next to me. Sadie, what's happening? Where are we? What is all that noise? Sadie put her paw on mine to call me. Ah, uh, yes, I started to remember. Rosie brought us here. This is a place that takes care of dogs and cats that have no families. As I stretched and was about to go back to sleep, Maria appeared at our kennel with more food. Abby, look, Abby, more food, Sadie barked. We get to eat again. Maria placed our bowls in our kennel. Sadie and I both wagged our tails at Maria. Then we licked our bowls clean. Days went by and the people that worked at the Humane Society were very good to us. We were fed well, taken for walks, and given time to play in the yard with other dogs. One day, Sadie and I overheard Rosie talking to Maria about finding homes for the animals that are brought here. She called it adoption. I quickly barked a message to Sadie. Sadie, I yelped, did you hear that? People can come here and take us home with them. I thought this was our home. I really like it here. I'm not sure I wanna leave. Sadie replied, oh, that explains where chocolate went. I heard some people say that he was gonna live on a farm. Remember last week, Shiny went past our kennel with the little girl? I saw how the girl was holding her and petting her. Abby, I think adoption is a good thing. Just then, a door opened. A boy, his mom and dad entered the room where we were. The boy's name was Sammy Brown. I heard Sammy tell Rosie, I always wanted a puppy. My mom and dad said for my eighth birthday, I could get one. Today is my eighth birthday. Here we are to take a pup home. Wait a minute, son, said Mr. Brown. We said we would look at dogs to see if there was one right for our family. If we find the right dog, we will talk about taking it home today. The Browns and Rosie walked past the kennels looking at the different dogs. 
Abby, Sadie whispered. Sammy walked past our kennel and didn't even stop to look at us. He went to a dog that was smaller than we are. Quick, Abby, curl up like me so you look smaller. Sadie curled up, but I just watched Sammy and his parents. I still wasn't sure I wanted to be adopted. Sammy walked towards Duffy's kennel. Miss Rosie, Sammy said, could you get this dog out of his kennel so I can pet him? We have to see if he's a good fit for our family. Rosie replied, sure, Sammy. This dog's name is Duffy. He loves to run and play. As Rosie walked towards Duffy's kennel, Sadie started barking. Sammy turned around and saw Sadie. Oh, she is beautiful, Sammy exclaimed. I think she was talking to me. Sadie continued to make little barks. It was like she was saying, Sammy, look at me, I can be your pup. Sammy ran to Sadie's kennel. Rosie followed. She introduced us. Sammy, this is Sadie. Would you like me to take her out of the kennel? Sammy shook his head, yes. And Rosie opened the door to our kennel. Sadie came forward and started licking Sammy's face. Mom and dad, Sammy begged. Please, may we take Sadie home with us today? She would be the best birthday present ever. Sadie then turned to me. I think she was trying to tell Sammy that I was her sister. They couldn't understand dog talk. So Rosie ex helped explain how she had found us in a box on the side of the road. I brought them here together, she continued. I think they are sisters. Sadie barked for me to come out of the kennel. She wanted me to meet the Browns. I didn't move, I just stood there. Did I really want to be adopted and leave here? Mrs. Brown walked towards our kennel and began talking to me softly. She put her hand in the kennel for me to lick. She smelled nice, so I licked her. She tasted good too. I licked her again. Mrs. Brown seemed like a really nice lady. I walked out of the kennel and she picked me up. I felt good when I was in her arms. Maybe going home with this family would be a good thing. If you could take both of the pups home, I think you'd all be very happy. Sadie and Abby are very good pups, Rosie explained. Sammy was so excited. Please, Mom and Dad, can we bring them both home? Mrs. Brown was still petting me and she brought me to Mr. Brown. He leaned towards me and put his hand on my head. I looked up at him with longing eyes as if to say, please take me home with my sister. Mrs. Brown then said to Sammy and Mr. Brown, you know, I've been thinking my birthday is next week and no one has asked me what I would like for my birthday. Mr. Brown winked at Sammy. No, let me see, said Mr. Brown. Might you want a pup named Abby? Mrs. Brown smiled. I think that would be a perfect gift. Sammy jumped up and was so excited. Two pups for two birthdays, he squealed. Sammy and his mom got really great birthday presents. Mr. Brown got a happy son and a happy wife. Sadie and I got a terrific family, a new home, and a wonderful life. The end.